In last night's game, one between the Leafs and the Lightning, Michael Bunting certified himself as the biggest joke in the NHL. Now, Bunting's reputation this year has already gone down the toilet with countless times this season, the refs just basically completely ignoring him because of the bullcrap that he spews. But in game one versus Tampa, Michael Bunting had easily the lowest moment of his career thus far, channeling his inner Nazem Kadri energy. But honestly, Michael Bunting and what he did versus Tampa was honestly one of the most embarrassing moments that we've seen out of any NHL player in the playoffs, really since what Nazem Kadri did back with Toronto. Now let's recap everything that led to the bunting clown moment here, and it was just a disastrous game in so many different ways for Toronto, and a gut-wrenching one as well. In just over the first minute of play, the Lightning were absolutely dominating the Leafs, and the Corey Perry line was crushing them, Perry getting this pass right in front, and Pierre Edward Bellamar putting it right home for a 1-0 goal. Just a few minutes later, down 1-0, the Leafs continue to cough up the puck right in front of the slot, and who else but Anthony Shirelli to make it 2-0 bolts. But to put more salt on the wound in the first period, the Lightning were on the power play, cooking up some great possession here. It went right to Sergeyev back at the point, and then Nikita Kucherov, with three seconds left in the first, makes it 3-0 Tampa Bay. And this is a disastrous start. The Leaf fans are booing them as they go off the ice, as they absolutely should. One of the worst starts to a playoffs that should have been so much better. But as the Leafs just love to do, they got a power play in the middle of the second and did convert on it with Mitch Marner passing Navarez and Ryan O'Reilly putting it home. That's why you got a Conn Smythe winner on the roster. And the Leafs are finally starting to feel some momentum. With a few minutes to go in the third, they get another power play. William Nylander, an absolute snipe to put the Leafs within one. But then the Leafs give the Lightning yet another power play opportunity. And, you know, it's Braden Point. He's not going to make any mistakes here, and he likely wasn't going to score in this game. He makes it 4-2 on a great power play goal, and the Leafs are back down two goals. But this was a pivotal moment in the game. There was still 5.30 left in the second, and there was still a chance, even though the Lightning did get a goal back, for the Leafs to continue that momentum and possibly win the game. But Michael Bunting, he just had other plans. The puck was getting wrapped around, and Chernak and Bunting were fighting for it. As you can see, Bunting just goes right up to the head of Eric Chernak and just leaves him dazed and confused. This would obviously impact Chernak, who looked to not even be 100% already before that hit, but just received a rough, huge head blow by Bunting. And no matter what, in today's NHL, you're not going to get away with that, and you shouldn't get away with that, and Bunting certainly did not. But to me, the worst part might be what Bunting's reaction was. Immediately after the hit, he raises his hand and just plays the victim card. He knew exactly what he did, yet he's out there just waving his hand to the ref being like, what is, what is going on? What is happening? That's just the biggest clown behavior out of it all. While Chernak's down on the other side, obviously visibly shaken up, and the refs are obviously talking about it, seeing what happened, going through it all. But look at Michael Bunting's reaction, looking at the replay while the refs are reviewing it and being like, whoa, what is this about? Even though it's clear as day the head contact. Still chirping the refs, trying to get them to reverse their decision, even though we all knew that was the worst decision he's ever made. And it's just a reaction. Chernak is still getting is still down and now getting up and right there is Bunting, just waving it off like nothing happened. And again, you see the hit and you see the reaction immediately being like, oh, what, what is going on here? Before the referee even called a penalty. That's the craziest thing. And there goes Michael Bunting after the match penalty was assessed. Again, just acting like this was an unfair call. And of course, Sheldon Keith is uh, very understandably confused why his player would do such a thing. And there's just so many different layers to this with four minutes to go in the second. Again, this was a pivotal time for the Leafs to get momentum back, to get the game back in their sights. And especially about Victor Hedman, maybe come back still and keep the game going, keep the pace going, keep the momentum going. But any chance, any semblance of a chance that the Leafs had in this game was completely evaporated because of one man's decision in Michael Bunting. And it's not just the timing, which is the worst timing in the world. The hit, which is the worst hit you could possibly make. An illegal check to the head, leaving his feet, going right up to Chernak's head. It was undeniable how bad that hit was. It was an immediate knowledge of it being an illegal check to the head. 
It was also the way that Bunting carried himself throughout all this. Obviously, I get being mad at everything. I get being frustrated, but seeing the replay and acting like you still are in the right after all of this is just insanity, especially of how you saw Chernak and how he was carrying himself as well to be so mad because you saw, you saw the video, you saw the clip. It was undeniable, that head contact and that first head contact Yet here is Michael Bunting filling up his diaper after the match penalty was assessed. And it's just unbelievable. It's the exact same situation with Nazem Kadri, if not worse in that sense. And it again cost the Leafs any chance of winning whatsoever in a game that was really quite necessary for them to win. Now, can they absolutely win the series? Still technically sure. But now Michael Bunting's probably gonna get suspended and you can just see again all the drama that he caused all this unnecessary action the Leafs could have still won that game but once that match penalty was given it was over simply put now from NHL player safety Toronto's Michael Bunting will have a hearing on Wednesday for an illegal check to the head and interference against Tampa Bay's Eric Chernak and we got confirmation that this will happen at 2 p.m central 3 p.m eastern so this video might be up by the time that that happens but Let's be honest, we all pretty much know what's going to happen. It's going to be at least another game on Bunting. And good riddance, man, for Toronto. They, putting in a player like Matthew Nyes would probably be the much better option. And they could probably could put Cali Arnkrok on that top six, maybe on that top line, like he always should have been. For the Leafs, it might be best that Michael Bunting is out for maybe even the series. And the fact that we're saying that is such an indictment against him. I mean, he still does have talent, I guess. But at the same time, he's been a net negative for Toronto at times and he's showing that again as a pending UFA literally the worst timing possible I don't know how it could have gotten dumber at least when Nazem Kadri pulled his crap back in what was it 2018 2019 he had a pretty long-term extension already signed Michael Bunting again is going to be one that I guess the bigger UFAs this free agency which is saying a lot unfortunately but him being a UFA him being in this position, doing this in game one of the playoffs, maybe even being out for a couple more games as well because of that suspension. I mean, did he just lose about like a million dollars on his contract? Probably. The interest in him is going to be way lesser just because of this whole season in general, not even just the dip in production, but also just the way that he's carried himself amongst refs. He has a huge reputation for just being a clown and trying to get with any get away with anything possible. And that's led to just way less calls. That's way led to way more penalties against him. That's led to just way less sympathy for him as well. And that's going to carry over to any other team, not just if he stays with Toronto. So the amount of money that he's going to make has completely dropped because of this year. But these playoffs have obviously not helped things whatsoever and have made it likely a lot worse. So not only did Michael Bunting injure a player in Eric Chernak most likely, and not only go against the Leafs in every single way, ruining their game one chances, he also ruined his wallet for this upcoming offseason and has put it in a complete spiral. So literally, because of the stupid decision that Michael Bunting made, everybody loses. And it's just maybe one of the biggest dumb decisions that I have seen in the playoffs, especially in recent memory. Nobody won because of this, man, and it was just a clown decision through and through. But that's going to be the end of my rant today because I I am just fuming from Michael Bunting, man. Absolutely horrible. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think of Michael Bunting's decision? What do you think he should get in his suspension? Let us know down below. And of course, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more hockey content every single day throughout the playoffs. You will not want to miss it. And of course, share the video with all the hockey fans you guys know online and click on this card for all of my hockey rankings content right in one playlist. My name is Nathan. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.